<clears throat> okay, that was enough of a warm up. You guys might have noticed a recent uh, change in content to this channel. Wake me up inside! Can't wake up! Wake me up inside! We're gonna be trying this out for a while thanks to the landslide decision and my recent Twitter poll. Hope you guys like it. Let me know what it's like down there. In that sweet ass comment section. Okay, big one. Big fish. Fucking Megatron. So in the previous video, we talked about religion and law. And I kind of touched on how dangerous religious law can be. But uh, I didn't really touch on separation of church and state. And how important that is to a free society. And I thought we'd be on to something else by now. But oh no, here comes Alakazama. Pulling an ace out their fucking sleeve. The Brownwood Presbyterian Church requested to establish its own police department in order to create a safer campus in a fallen world. Well, fuck, at least law and order will be restored to Briarwood. The church has a campus in Jefferson County and also runs a high school in Shelby County. So some of you might be saying, hey, yo, Red, what's the big deal? It's two schools. That's a lot of stuff. They got like 30,000 functions a year. They could use an officer on duty. You asshole. When you put it that way, it doesn't sound too bad. And this Alabama colonist says that according to Eric Johnson, the lawyer that helped draft this bill for Briarwood Presbyterian Church, any arrests would be handled by local police jurisdiction and there'd only be one officer patrolling both campuses. But here's the snag. Representative Connie Rowe, who fully supported the bill, also said she'd be open to requests from other churches. They will conduct their own security, they will make their own arrests, and instead of calling on the local law enforcement agency to take over the particular situation they're trying to control, they will do that themselves. All they will utilize from their other law enforcement agencies is their lockup facilities. Who do the officers answer to? Asked Representative Chris England to the church leadership, he was told. If we take a closer look at the bill, we see that any officer or officer's jurisdiction will only be over the property of the church and the campuses. Now, this bill's already been passed through the Public Safety Committee of Alabama Legislature. It's on the way to the governor's hands. But Red, is this case as bad as Sharia law? Do you know what Sharia law is? No, not really, but it's troubling as to what kind of precedent it sets. There's a reason we keep church and state separate. While we should be tolerant of other people's religions and beliefs, an impartial secular government and law enforcement is key to maintaining a good meritocracy. Sorry this video is so late, guys. Uh, I was I was sick. I was I was a sick boy. You sexy animals have a wonderful day. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> <laughs>